This worries the narcissist when they discard you. When the narcissist discards you, they begin to feel anxious or troubled. They begin to worry about potential problems. When the narcissist started devaluing you, you took a step back from them. You no longer gave them the attention and, and admiration that they craved and needed. You no longer validated the false self or the illusion that they were trying to portray. You stopped believing in their lies and you were no longer susceptible to their manipulation. You started to realize that this person was not who they said they were. And as they began to devalue and degrade you, you stopped attending to them. You stopped meeting their needs. You were no longer providing a constant source of supply to them. And this is when they had to groom another source of supply. This is when they had to prepare or train them for the purpose of giving them what they need. There is a point in the relationship where you begin to fall back, where you begin to feel sadness or displeasure caused by the non-fulfillment of your hopes and expectations. Once the narcissist becomes aware of this, they begin to feel rejected. They begin to feel as though their false self does not exist. They begin to reflect on how they really feel about themselves. They feel worthless and insignificant. That is when they need to seek out another source to prop up their false self, to make them feel as though it does exist. They have to have someone around them to prop up their false self. Without that, they are forced to reflect on who they really are. It's too painful for them to deal with. It can often cause them to develop addictions or even be, or even become suicidal because they cannot cope with their true self. They do everything they can to deny or suppress that because of the pain and shame that comes along with it. This is why they have no choice but to move on with a new source. Even if they've realized and accepted that you were the better option. It's too late for them to go back now. They cannot risk putting themselves in a position where they have no one to prop up their false self. That would be a very dangerous situation for them to be in. It would feel like their life is at risk. So now they have to go forward with this new source of supply. Someone who is just a desperation pick. They never really wanted to be the, never really wanted to be with them. They just needed someone to prop up their false self. And they knew that you were no longer willing to do that after they had devalued and degraded you. So now they're in a state of worry. They feel anxious or troubled because they know that it's not going to last. They know that things are not going to work out with a new source. But they also know that you're never going to see them the same way ever again. So they can't, they can't go back to you. The narcissist made their bed. So now they have to line it. They must accept the unpleasant situation that they are in because they caused it. If they had treated you right with love and respect, maybe things wouldn't have turned out this way. But as we already know, narcissists cannot do that. But you can. You can move on and give yourself the love and respect that you need. Leave them in the dust where they belong, where they chose to be. 
accept yourself, love yourself, and keep moving forward. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at knoxforcoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.